So what is the best diet? This is something that a lot of people are wondering. This is something that a lot of people ask me whether it's ketogenic diet, whether it's the vegan diet, whether it's the carnivore diet, whether it's the Atkin diet, whether it's the low carb diet, whether it's the slow carb diet. It seems like there are more diets out there than there are stars in the sky. And now of course that's a bit of an exaggeration but the bottom line is that people right now are associating this type of tribalism with the way that they eat all right it's like yo this is the best way this is the only way and if you're not eating this way then you are deteriorating your health all right now my name is Mo Salim and in this video I want to transcend all of that discussion about what the best diet is and I want you to stop worrying about what the best diet is because there's no such thing there's only such thing as the best diet for you now I dive way deeper into this in my course about the Zen of dieting so that you can use more logic, intuition and hard data to make your food choices. But in this video, like I said, I'm going to go over some of the big factors so that you can start implementing some of this information right now. So the first thing to understand, whether we're talking about any diet under the sun, whether we're talking about all the food science out there that can be used to support one diet and then there's a bunch of other science that's supporting another diet. but one thing that all these nutrition philosophies agree on is that we have to eat to reduce inflammation okay chronic inflammation is the root cause behind so many of the conditions we see today that are actually causing mortality whether it's alzheimer's whether it's heart disease whether it's diabetes whether it's cancer we just go on google and type in all of these diseases and write inflammation it is actually the root cause that results in all of these all right so all of these conditions are actually symptoms which are a label that we give to the root cause of inflammation so the first thing really to do is eat to reduce inflammation now some of the primary culprits that are causing inflammation in your body are first of all refined sugars and refined grains okay both of these foods are something that we did not consume in our hunter gatherer days both of these things are a result of the industrial revolution which actually gave us the power to refine grains and refine sugar to the point where they're spiking our blood sugar upon consumption and really doing harm to your body and they're toxic actually and they're making your body inflamed and they're also a feeding source for cancer cells so the first thing to avoid is refined sugar and refined grains all right secondly you have to reduce your consumption of vegetable and seed oils now they do have the word vegetable in them but that does not mean that they're healthy all right because vegetable oils whether we're talking canola oil soybean oil safflower oil sunflower oil all of these oils contain an omega-6 to omega-3 ratio that is completely out of whack omega-6 is being inflammatory acids omega-3 is being anti-inflammatory acids and because there's so many omega 6s in them they cause chronic inflammation and I was reading that somewhere around 30% of the consumption of calories in the American population comes from soybean oil alone so just read the label on the foods that you're eating and make sure that these ingredients are not in them and more often than not they will be if you're eating out so you know try to make your meals at home so that you actually know what is going into them okay and uh, so after those three foods after you're eating to reduce inflammation the second thing that no one will refute is the principle of bio individuality okay no one has the same uh, composition as you no one has the same schedule as you no one has the same exact goals as you no one has the same starting position as you and if you don't use your critical thinking then you will be pulled this way and that way thinking that there is a best diet to follow but that will only result in you following someone else's thinking and of course that is our tendency to be told what to do we have been conditioned in front from the age of childhood to like sit down and follow instructions but really my advice to you is to practice your critical thinking skills try out these different diets try out these different foods experiment keep track of the key biomarkers which show you whether or not you're moving in the right direction and of course like i said i would dive way deeper into this in my course but please there's one thing you take away from this video just practice your critical thinking all right don't try to get a one-size-fits-all approach and then just follow it by the book because the bottom line is that no one out there is like you and thirdly the most important factor of nutrition is your microbiome now microbiome is the term that's given to the trillions of microorganisms that are 
bacteria, fungi, archaea that are spread in and around your body and they really determine how your food actually actually is metabolized by your body, okay? So in your gut, there is a whole community of trillions of microorganisms and I was reading somewhere that we're actually more micro, we have more um, microorganisms in terms of our cells. We have 1.3 bacterial cells for every one human cell that we have so when we look at it in from that standpoint we're actually more microbial than we are human and from an evolutionary standpoint that makes sense because single cell organisms were the first ones to actually inhabit this earth and that's what we evolved from so understand that you are not just a human you are a super organism with all these different uh, microorganisms spread in and around your body now the reason this is important is because I actually got a microbiome test done and I sent in my stool sample into this company called Viome and what I discovered was that I was actually experiencing an inflammatory response from eating foods like broccoli, kale and spinach. Now traditionally these are seen as the most quote unquote healthy foods that they are and the truth is that it, this is because they are full of nutrients all right but like I said it depends on your microbiome whether these nutrients are actually absorbed or not. Now the problem with kale, spinach and broccoli is that they contain a compound known as oxalates and if your gut does not have the oxalofactor bacteria then it will be unable to actually metabolize the nutrients from these foods and the result will actually be inflammation. So no matter how nutrient dense a particular food is, if your body is not able to metabolize it, then it will be pretty much like you're eating junk food because they are causing inflammation, okay? So now any two humans, they share about 99% of the same DNA, but in terms of their bacterial DNA, it is less than 5% and there are a number of factors that actually influence this whether you were born to a c-section whether you were breastfed as a kid whether you took antibiotics as a kid whether you have a pet whether you are living with someone who you're kissing and then exchanging microbiome that way and there's so many factors that actually affect this so i recommend that you go to biome.com right now order a test kit i do not have any affiliation with them i'm showing you the results from my test right now on the screen so you understand what type of feedback that you can expect but the bottom line is for that of bio individuality all right everyone is unique everyone is ha has a different starting point everyone has different goals and if you can understand your body more critically and use experimentation to understand what your body responds to based on how you feel then you will actually move towards creating a diet that is suited towards your particular position all right so stop falling for this that and the other thing stop looking for the best diet and start looking for the best diet for you. I hope that this has been valuable for you. This has been Mo Salim and I'll see you soon.